Hey guys, how's it going? Eminem Gaming here, and today we're back uh, with another video. Um, so yeah, I um, recently picked up, if you've seen on my Twitter, I picked up two games, and I'll be doing first impressions of both. Um, I thought I'd get this first impressions out first, because it's going to take me a lot longer to complete than the other game. Uh, but that is Digimon Cyber Sleuth and Gravity Rush Remastered. Um, so yeah, so today we'll obviously you can probably see by the title we'll be talking about Digimon, but uh, the Gravity Rush first impressions will be coming out uh, not long after this video, so keep an eye out for that. Um, and uh, part 14 of Beyond Two Souls will still be coming out soon as well, so make sure to keep an eye out for that, guys. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to give you my first impressions of all the game modes I've played within Digimon, which is pretty much all of them at this point. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Um, so I wasn't expecting this game to be any good, if I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. And it really has blown me away how, how good it is. Um, what you'll see now is around about 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how long I spent <laughs> rambling on about this game. Um, of just the start of the game, so there's no spoilers, there's no real anything in depth at, uh, in the video you'll be watching in the background, so uh, yeah, just thought I'd let you know that. Um, so, I've put about five and a half hours into this game, which sounds a lot, um, but in most games I'd be nearly near the end. Um, I'm not even at... Um, chapter three yet i'm not even at that yet so that's quite impressive for this game um you get kind of over not overwhelmed but like you get kind of um stuck in and you know kind of distracted while well, i do anyway uh leveling up um searching for like the little digimon medals and uh playing the online matches on the uh the farm uh, and everything so that's what I've been I've been definitely getting distracted by that um, so the story looks uh, pretty interesting um, but I haven't got too in depth I'm not going to talk too much about the story just because um, I don't want to spoil it for anyone if you're planning on getting this game um the interesting thing was i wasn't actually planning on getting this game at all uh but i i saw a few guys who i watch on youtube um and they were just saying you know i'm really excited for this game and i thought let me have a look at ign and i watched that and i thought that that looks really cool the that like the battle system the turn based um you don't really see it done uh that much nowadays and it's very rarely in even those cases when it's done well so this looked like uh, an exception to the rule um, and that was awesome um, it's sort of got that Pokemon vibe to it where you know you kind of you capture um, different Digimon and you, you level them up and you make them stronger you can evolve them into you know stronger uh, types of Digimon so I had the original ones and I tried uh, leveling uh, my other Digimon up and they actually, you know, become these really overpowered, you know, really beasty looking um, uh, creatures, you know, when you when you do level them up. Uh, and that's awesome to see, you know, you've got this little cute um, dragon or whatever and then the next minute it's got tentacles coming out of it, it's got a mask on. <laughs> it's crazy some of the, you know, just... Uh, some of the Digimon I've got at the moment, uh, you know, it's crazy, um, and it's cool to see, you know, that leveling up system, um, as well, the cool thing is, so you can attack without using, I guess, SP, I don't know if that's skill points or whatever, uh, I don't know what it's actually uh, called, but uh, when you, um, when you do attack using, like, I don't know, a, a grass, attack or whatever you know uh, one of its uh, skill attacks um they they use um the sp um which uh lowers obviously it goes down and once it's at zero you can't use any your special attacks um but the cool thing is um when you do level up um it it regenerates it regains so um and that's the same with the health as well. When your health goes down, um, once you level up, it goes back up. Um, so yeah, that's awesome. Uh, 
there's a uh, the, so like I said, there was these Digimon medals, which I know sounds a bit weird, but they are quite for me addictive to get. Um, so once you get them, you sell them to like a vendor at the top, and he um, they put them in a collection, and there's over 500 of them to find. I found around about 10 percent, which is 50. Um, so yeah, I'm really enjoying doing that that part of it. Um, you obviously have the main story. You've also got side investigations that you can do, um, which give you uh, in-game currency to buy stuff and all that sort of stuff. But also level up y y yourself, um, uh, level up your character, so we can you know um, upgrade different like hacking skills and um, yeah, it, it's just it's just awesome. And you know once you level up your character, um, they actually um, get stronger themselves so there really is a benefit to 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 the leveling up in this game um which is awesome to see um the fights they're not particularly up what i'd say that difficult um you know they they're not over the top you know ridiculously difficult um some of them can be quite easy maybe that's the level i've got it on i've just i think i've got it on normal i just wanted to get into it so i haven't changed messed around with anything so it's all the starting uh stuff so it's nothing um been changed or moved around or anything so bear that in mind guys um the so there's a like a digi farm that they have in this game and you do investigations uh on that and obviously it levels up your characters um, i think you get other sort of like health capsules and all that sort of stuff. Um, you can also uh, develop the farm itself, I think, um, which is awesome, which again levels up your characters, and that's a good way. Um, obviously, you can have um, your main Digimon and then like your reserves. Uh, so if they're in your reserves, they'll level up anyway if you win fights. Um, but this is a good way when you've got a load of them and you don't know what to do with them. Just put them on this like farm and they level up uh, naturally. Um, so everyone benefits, you know, the, the, the characters level up and also you don't have to worry about them and it, it just benefits everyone in general. Um, so in the fights you'll have uh different things are effective against other things if that makes sense so you know grass may be effective against earth you know water is effective against fire electricity effective against water all the kind of stuff that we've kind of known and been brought up on on uh pokemon um so that that's awesome um i like the fact that um in Pokemon, obviously, you chuck the Pokeball and you, you you capture it, and it's kind of a bit luck-based whether you actually capture it or it escapes. Uh, in this game, it's just by grinding and levelling up that you will get the characters um, naturally. Um, so, if you fight a character, you scan it, you may get 30-40%. Um, the more you keep fighting that character, the more it scans it. And once it's a hundred percent, you actually can convert it and keep the the uh, Digimon for yourself. And that's a really cool feature, I, I think, um, about the game that you can just level them up and you know keep them for yourself. Um, the world is quite big. Um, obviously, it's not an open world, but um, you can explore quite a lot of it. Um, at the moment, I'm about five and a half hours in. Like I said, I've unlocked about four or five different areas. A hospital, a main centre, a shopping centre. And that that's cool. Um, I'm trying to win the uh, Digimon Gold Cup. Uh, I've won the silver and bronze. I'm just waiting for it to unlock. I'm not sure when it does unlock uh, the, the Gold Cup. If you know, guys, please let me know down below. Because I'm really excited to try and win that. Um... I know I'm rambling here, guys. I'm probably going to keep this short because, um, again, like I say, I haven't got into too much, um, really. I know it sounds like you've played five and a half hours, but I haven't really, you know, I don't feel like after two chapters, maybe I have not got into it as much. Um, but one, would I recommend this game? Absolutely, 100% would I recommend 
would recommend this game. Uh, a lot of people nowadays complain that you know games aren't long enough. Um, you don't get value for your money, um, and all that sort of stuff. But this is one of them games where you can put as many hours as you want into it. It's really long. It looks like it's got a long story behind it. Um, it's got plenty of plenty of content free. I don't think there's a season pass, so that's benefit. Or when I said in-game currency, you can't buy it, so you have to actually earn it. So, in my opinion, if you are one of those guys who are getting a bit bored of the same old, same old sort of Call of Duties or Fifas or whatever, and you want a new experience, you want something unique, uh, something fun something where you can put as many hours as you possibly want into the game uh, with a relatively easy platinum uh, depending on how much time you've got um, definitely pick this up um, I I really love it um, I think it's just genuinely a load of fun um, the only gripes I have with it are um, Sometimes I, get, I mean, this is more of a personal problem, but sometimes I get a bit confused with the investigations. You know, where the hell I've got to go? It can be a bit confusing in that sense. Um, but that's around about it because it's such a vast place and you, you've got a lot to explore. So to find the person for the investigation, for example, uh, to find, as you see, keyword, that was a bit of luck. Uh, I wasn't actually looking at the screen, so that's a bit of luck. Uh, I'm on a section now where you have to ask people using this keyword and I just have no idea where I've got to go. So it can be a bit confusing. It can be a bit frustrating in times, that part, when you just don't know where the hell you're going. Um, but in general, um, the gameplay's fun, the frame rate doesn't drop. To be fair, there's not that many characters on the screen at one time, but that's a benefit. Uh, the graphics uh, aren't your same old, same old um, realistic Last of Us sort of quality, but I, I personally like that. I see a lot of people asking for, you know, the PlayStation 2 days back, uh, but won't touch a game like this with a, with a like a barge pole, you know, it's crazy, but... I'm really enjoying this, guys. 100% um, recommend it if you've got a PlayStation or a PlayStation Vita. Uh, the online's really fun, even though I get my butt kicked every time I play. Uh, there's some really good players in Digimon, so I will just warn you, if you, you're a bit like me, just a bit casual at it, you can get your, uh, get absolutely battered by people online, so <laughs> bear that in mind. Um but overall, I'd definitely give it a, probably a, like an 8.5, 9 out of 10 so far. Uh, from my experience, like I said, the only problem is um, really the the um, the lack of a main speaker. For example, your character, it doesn't have a like a, a voice actor. It would have been nice. I understand some you know Japanese games they don't always have a, a main protagonist have a voice actor as well. I, I understand, respect that, but at the same time, it would have been nice. And also, get I get confused sometimes, like with the the investigations, like where to go, what to do, and all that sort of stuff. That's more of a, my problem, but it is my first impression. So, overall, guys, I think definitely worth the the I think it's about thirty pound uh, buy in price. You get so much content. Um, You'll have a ton of fun, and you'll definitely have, if you like um, games where you can grind, level up, uh, collect stuff, uh, basically if you like Pokemon, but you want it on a console in better graphics, you're going to probably love this game. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed my review guys, it kind of just a ramble on sort of uh, thing, I did want to make this review, I did have a few requests for it, so that's awesome guys, that you actually want to hear my opinion. But um, yeah, I'll catch you guys in a new video.